Hey everybody, it's Manny from The Spread, trying a little something new, MMA Knockout with Manny Diaz. We got the UFC 118 coming up on Saturday. There's the lovely Tiffany Evans. She wrote the board with her artistic skills. As you can see, not my chicken scratch again. So we'll start from right here from the bottom. Oh, as you can see, there's a money, money line odds, different than what we're used to seeing. Um, the numbers are leveraged against $100. For instance, you would have to take pay $205 if you take Diaz, Nate Diaz, to win 100, whereas if you laid 100 on Marcus Davis, you would get 165 back. Um, the $40 gap is basically the tax, the house tax, so that's kind of how they make their money. So anyway, all right, I like, um, I like Nate Diaz. He's not as good of a fighter as his brother Nick. He, um, he has a lot of success both standing up and on the ground. I think probably, I'm not sure if it'll be a knockout or not. I've, I've seen Davis has a pretty solid record. He has a um, reputation for being a tough guy, but I think roll with Diaz, it should be, should be good, to, you know, putting two to one on your money. Um, okay, over to Kenny Florian and Gray Maynard. Kenny Florian's kind of a perennial um, number one contender. He tends to usually do really well until he gets to the title fight. He's a good striker, good elbows. Um, tends to be a little soft for his size. Just his body doesn't seem, he's, he looks small for his size is what I'm trying to say. Um, the way the odds are, guys, it seems like it's too convenient to take Florian at minus 150 because when the more well-known fighter is favored by so little, it's almost like a trap game in football. I kind of would lean towards Maynard or, or at least not touch the favorite on this one. I like Gray Maynard. I think that that's a better proposition. Um, okay, up here we got James Lights Out Tony fighting Randy Couture. Um, should be exciting. A lot of people are excited to see Tony moving over to MMA. Um, try his hand at UFC. I guess he's been talking Dana White into it for a while. But they threw him right in the ring with Randy Couture, which kind of makes it seem like he's being thrown to the Lions a little bit. He's... Um, He's a great boxer, guys, but Randy Couture is great at pushing big guys against the fence and eventually either getting them into that ground and pound or submission. I mean, Randy Couture, he's a great champion for, for quite a while, and he held his own against Brock Lesnar um, maybe, maybe a year or two ago, not too long ago. I do like Couture. 700 is a big number, but I think it's actually a bargain when you consider this is Tony's first fight in the MMA. I think Couture should handle him. Probably by knockout, first or second round. I don't see Tony adapting that fast. Um, and last, we got Frankie Edgar and BJ Penn in the title fight. Um, BJ Penn catches a lot of a lot of a lot of stuff for maybe sometimes going to big fights, not as well trained, or maybe not the, the shape he should be in. Um, he did lose to Edgar last time. Uh, you can tell by the odds when he's three to one favorite that probably he was even bigger favorite last time, which means it was probably a shock that Edgar beat Penn at all. But I don't expect that to happen again. This is my lock of the week. I do like Penn. I think that the three to one for your money will make it should protect you pretty good. I think that that's the pick right there. Um, anyway, guys, good luck. Enjoy uh, enjoy the Saturday night's fights, and I'll see you for UFC 119. Thanks so much.